Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. This is MZ, uh, and this is MZ's Trading Journal. Um, today is August 7th, 8.15 a.m., and I live in the uh, uh, on the west coast, so it's Pacific time. For people who live on the east side, you're all good. All right, so um, let's, um, I'm going to look at uh, cryptocurrencies today, mostly because it's weekend. The good thing about uh, trading cryptocurrency is that it trades 24-7. There's no downtime. There's no, you know, uh, market closed hour. Um, you can be making money 24-7, or you could be losing money 24-7, depending on how you look at it. Um, so, um, I'm, you know, uh, I'm looking at uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, uh, a couple other coins that I mostly um trade um, if you have any coins um, or ticker symbol that you want me to check out uh, do let me know in the comments area uh, before we proceed please like and share um, and uh, you know before before you proceed before we proceed please like and share um, and let's look at the chart I have taken off uh, the volume for simplicity purpose, um, but wow, just wow. Yesterday, um, you know, um, it has been a great week or even two weeks uh, for crypto um, since Bitcoin hit almost uh, almost the lowest point um, in about um, in, in, in about a year, which is twenty nine uh, thirty thousand dollars. Um, it bounced back very quickly, uh, hitting uh, 43,000. And yesterday it was another good run at 43. Uh, well, it almost hit 40, 44, uh, 45. Uh, but uh, we're seeing that um, we might be hitting a bit of a uh, resistance at this area. Um, if we were to look at here. So this might be generating a little bit of problem, but um, you never know with this kind of rally. It's very easy for Bitcoin just to shoot up from the sky. Just like this is what happened last time, right? This is what happened last time. Um, this is what happened last time. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, and then for here. We could have another huge monumental of uh, exchange of support uh, and resistance right here. And if Bitcoin makes a very good breakout, continuing this trend, it could be hitting another all time high. So for those who have missed this, this uh, uptrend, um, don't be discouraged. Uh, don't feel, you know, uh, left out. This is just a the life uh, for trading and um, um, let's you know keep our fingers crossed um, and hopefully that Bitcoin will make another great uh, rally uh, for the next uh, couple months but you know um, as I've always um, you know been saying you can't uh, predict the market you can just hope and then prepare for the market uh, and, and you can just you can just plan for the market and then make uh, plan according plan actions according to how the price action um, is so without further ado i'm just gonna go in uh, here so i'm looking at a couple uh, coins right now in the <coughs> so i'm going to look at uh, a couple of coins. Um, so I'm going to look at uh, all the coins that uh, I'm paying attention to, um, and then um, I will be doing um, a bit of an analysis um, and then make out and, and um, plan out my trade for today. So as you can see, um, you know uh, what I will do is I will usually I usually switch to the four hour. Um, scale because it's a bit easier and then I'll, I'll 
I'll draw out a couple um, support and resistance lines. Usually I'll use two or one, just one. I don't want my chart to be very messy because it makes things a little bit difficult to see. Um, there's no really uh, super visible uh, support and resistance in this area. But if you switch back to the day, let's see. Okay, there we go. If you switch back to the day range, as I was saying, that we are actually hitting a support resistance here. See, there's one tested. There's a couple one on the uh, on here, so I'm just gonna um, draw it out so that we know that exists, um, and then I'll switch back to four hour, um, and then adjust the support according to the most recent. Uh, visible support resistance. You don't have to be super precise. You just keep keep in mind that the support resistance is just an area. Uh, it's not a line. It doesn't need to be um, super accurate to the point of you know uh, single digits. You just draw a line uh, in the area where you think that um, where your eyes are telling you where whether or not there's support or or, or resistance. And here, because we're looking at four hour forward chart, right? Um, another chart is going to be closing in about 38 minutes. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about uh, this candle bar because, um, as you can see, um, it has a very, very long uh, wick um, up here. It means that people are selling as 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 long as the, as soon as the price are hitting 44, 45 thousand, and um, uh, we are also. Uh, you know we have we have also identified this uh, resistance um, here. Um, chances are that um, Bitcoin might be hitting the ceiling for the next few hours or days. Or well, depend usually not days, but um, and it has been going up for for uh, quite a few days. And then chances are it might um, go back uh, land to um, uh, the previous support or even here or even here, and then test for another time before it goes back up. So uh, when that happens, that's um, our opportunity to, to hop back in. Um, and after we've um, done this, uh, let's go into the one hour smaller scale, try to see if you know we can find opportunity to treat. Um, I wouldn't be, well, for me, I guess it depends on people, right? Because I trade um, I only do long. I don't. I don't uh, short. Uh, I only. I only long, um, and that means that um, I will not trade when um, the the chart, the price, is um, getting very close to a resistance. And right now, as we're seeing, the chart is, the price is very very close to the um, to the resistance right here. Um, I guess what might happen could be that. Um, if we draw it out like this, da, 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 da. it's hitting here once, failed, then went back down, then tried another time, failed, break out, but went back down right away, then break out again, then here, and it's probably going to try another time. But um, I will be extremely cautious right here because look at this. Right, this is going up, but it didn't break, and it, it got pulled back down immediately by some sort of uh, significant uh, force, and that means that a lot of people are selling here. This is where people are selling, right? Um, and um, chances are, if it hits one more time, and if it doesn't succeed, the trend might be going like this um, and um, chances are that it might be already going down I don't think uh, this will happen but I'm just guessing what do I know right so um, I will be cautious if I'm planning to long the market so this could be what's happening so I will be waiting for them here or there's another resistance right here. So chances are it might probably drop down here and then uh, we can have another opportunity to look at. So what I'll do is I'll move up just to be safe, right? 
I'll move out the support and then I'll place a alert at this area uh, or when it breaks out I will be interested too so I'll be placing two alerts it doesn't need to be very you know um, accurate it's just a, a mechanism to um, alert me when um, something interesting that happens so um, so that's Bitcoin uh, let's like look at uh, Ethereum. Um, the same same old, right? So let's switch to day. Ethereum has been going up on a very very significant uh, rally. It's actually quite um, uh, quite amazing. Um, I don't have Ethereum unfortunately, but this is a very clear um, double tap into the um, into the support at seventeen eighty. Um, should have been should have bought um should have been buying uh, some ethereum here but uh, you know um what can we do right you missed it um so um the most the closest support and resistance that i can draw uh on a larger scale would look like this um chances are that uh, ethereum might be hitting a ceiling uh, very quickly and if I were to switch to four hour, there's not much to see actually because Ethereum has been making really, really great rally up there. Um, this might not look very good because um, just like uh, Bitcoin, this wicker wick here, it's a big tell that um, the rally might be losing its force. And the fact that uh, for the last hour, the trend has been going like this. So it went back up, 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 down a little bit, up and down, then up. Um, and um, it might go down like this uh, to the bottom, uh, retesting the support here. So um, my plan would be similar. So I don't, I will not be placing any trade today well not today I do, you, well i will not be placing trade any trade right now but um i will so this is a more this is a more um interesting support and resistance actually this one is is closer to the one hour uh and what i'll do is uh, i will place an alert here so when the price goes back down to the first support, uh, I will come back and see if the first support uh, will be tested or um, will withstand the test and then um, make Ethereum go back up. Um, and if that happens, I'll find an opportunity to get into the market right here. And of course, if it makes a break like here, I will be very interested to know. Um, you can lower it a little bit like this or put it up here. It doesn't really matter. Um, different people will have a different way of placing the support and resistance. Um, my method doesn't really, you know, um, depending on your support and resistance, you will have a different trading plan. Um, and it, and it all works um, as long as you, um, you know, follow the principles, uh, the discipline. Um, let's look at uh, BNB. So BNB has been this has been on a, a great rally as well. And if we switch back to day range, <coughs> um, and it wouldn't, wow, the, the high was as high as almost $700. Um, and <coughs> excuse me, I <coughs> suddenly my, my, my voice started deepen because um, probably that makes me a, a bit more authentic or believable. Um, I don't know, but uh, this is what it is. So um, what? Uh, well, OK, so it, it, it goes up and down a little bit. You know, it's not as clean. The chart is not as clean because of, you know, um, the inherent um, lack of volume of trading. Um, I look at FTX. Uh, it has reasonable volume, but um, there are a couple other um, exchanges that you can rely on. They are uh, mo more reliable, trustworthy. Um, so uh, it doesn't really matter um, as long as you're looking at um, the coins that has, um, you know, major following. Um, and um, we're trying to identify the 
uh, support and resistance uh, in the day day chart day day chart range. So this looks like one of a uh, very good um, support uh, because um, there's a very clear support and resistance uh, exchange. This is something that that's very interesting right here, uh, right? So it went back down, right, and then immediately got put back up the next day, and it starts rallying. Um, usually this means that there's a um, um, significant uptrend um, coming, but uh, we don't know because uh, every single cryptocurrency is somewhat connected to Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin is not making um, a good rally, um, uh, the rest of the coins might not do as well. But there's, there's, there's just correlation, right? It's not causal, but uh, the correlation is often, uh, you know, observed um, throughout uh, various crashes and, um, 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 you know, um, uh, rallies. So um, what am I going to do here? Uh, I'm going to look at this one. So chances are we're gonna be making a pretty good. I'm gonna do uh, atom flip, and chances are uh, the next point will be at 379. Wow. Um, so this is where the uh, price might go up to, uh, given to how the breakout is done. So, uh, and just to be safe, I would set my goal to be 375. Um, so, and there's a clear support um, structure here. Um, support, uh, there's a clear uh, resistance structure here. So we just have to wait. Um, if you're doing, sh if you're shorting, it's best that you short here. Right at this range, and then it might go all the way down like this to do a correction. Um, so, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Right, uh, I'm gonna have to wait until if it breaks out again. Um, if it breaks out again, this is not a very clear um, support and resistance, as as you all can see. Right, hey, this 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 is better. This is better. If it, if it, so it, it might actually go up here. It chances are that it will go to 374 and then, oops, and then go back down uh, like this. So, um, what can we do, right? But it's in the middle of the support and resistance, and I don't, I don't trade in the middle. I don't. Um, it, it could go up or could, could go down. It's just the pos probability. The possibility is unlimited. Um, I don't want to risk it um, because this is um, crypto. It's already risky enough. Uh, you don't have to add um, a risk uh, on top of that. So my trading plan for BNB will be that I'll be waiting for it to hit here, then plan out whether or not I will short it. Uh, sometimes I, I, I short when the sign or the possibility is super high. Or I will uh, place an alert here, uh, wait for the price to drop down. Then I will be doing a, a good, um, um, I will reassess the, uh, the current situation. But if I switch into the one hour line, right? Um, it's, the structure is very, very clear. It's a very strong uptrend. Um, if, um, if you are, um, a day trader, uh, if you don't plan to trade for, for longer time, because the reason that I was looking at the day scale is because, uh, BNB has a, it's a really, a really good opportunity. If the, if, if it's a bull market, right? If it's a bull market, BNB tends to go up like crazy. Uh, because everybody's, um, you know, uh, there are new people joining, everybody's trading, um, and platform coins like BNB, BNB, uh, it's the platform coin for the exchange coin for, uh, for, for Binance, uh, or so the similar coin will be FTX, um, that I, I actually have, um, bought um, a lot. Um, but, um, usually for BNB has a lot larger, 
volume. And usually when a bull market begins, um, the platform coins performs reasonably well uh, at a lower risk. So uh, this is why I was planning on the day scale. But uh, if you are um, day trading or if you want to be uh, trading on the shorter, shorter scale, um, four hour or one hour line, it's also a good uh, opportunity. Um, and I'll just bring it in a little bit so that we can look at the one hour line here. Let's look at let's look at if there's any opportunity on the one hour scale, right? So clearly, this is one of the uh, support and resistance uh, that's happening. Um, and uh, we're seeing this one too. Uh, okay, so uh, as you can see the the um, the range like for um, the candle bar to go up and down in the hour is um, absolutely um, amazing because um, if you trade futures um, uh, on any of the exchange chances are you might not uh, you might lose your position because the the, the range it goes up and down is just uh, crazy right um, and if you don't have a stop loss that's a different story but uh, we're gonna talk about that later. Um, let's let's focus on on BNB now. What? Okay. What am I gonna do? I don't know. Uh, frankly speaking, I I I don't really know what am I gonna do on the hourly scale because it's just uh, it's a very good rally uh, option. Um, chances are it might retest the support here. Uh, if it goes back down, um, and it, if it doesn't, you know, break uh, the support, um, I will, um, I will buy it. Um, but um, it, it might go, you know, it might break out the resistance here like this, and then uh, this is where I would um, place my order. So this is, this is two uh, scenarios that could have happened. Uh, but because right now the price price level is in the middle, um, I will not do anything. I'll just place my trusty alert here and wait for it to go back down or to break out. All right, that's very clear. ICP. Wow, look at ICP. ICP Internet Computer. It's um uh, they are they are um they are pretty high profile coin. Uh, when they first launched, I remember it went back. Yeah, it was trading at four hundred, five hundred dollars, and uh, after a very, very long, um, you know, uh, hitting uh, the bottom. The bottom seems to be at uh, twenty seven, twenty five. Um, it's crazy, huh? Uh, just twenty x, uh, but uh, in the other way, right? Shrank to for twenty times. Um, but still, you know, um, it has a reasonably good, um, large, uh, f uh, reasonably um, um, amount of uh, following, and then people are um, still trading it actively. Um, uh, so this is uh, also, you know, uh, they're the, the the team is doing something that's very interesting. Um, so I still pay a lot of attention to this coin, um, and uh, hoping for an you know uh, eventual uh, breakout of. Um, uh, price so um i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna place uh, a, a support resistance line here for the day range because there's not a lot to follow but there's also another possible resistance we're approaching uh, possible resistance um right here and let's zoom in a little bit so this is four hour wow look at this look at this look at this um, I went in. I went in yesterday at about uh, at here. So, um, but I I was my I think my price was about 40, 40, 40 something, right? And then um, I sold quickly after uh, the price hit fifty six. Uh, but uh, you know, look at this rally. Wow! But then it goes up and down like this. This is um, just in in within four hours. It's quite crazy. Um, that means a lot of people are selling. Okay, that means a lot of people are selling right over here. Um, I will be very cautious if I if I'm planning to buy uh, right now. So, um, if I were to oops, if I were to do this, all right, if I were to hit here, uh, okay, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Um, it looks a little bit complicated. 
a little bit a little bit more complicated than I want it to be. Um, uh, okay, this might be it, or this might be it. I don't know. So, um, frankly speaking, I don't know what to do right now. Um, I'll um, because this is a significant breakout. What I'll do, uh, I'll do a flip of Adam. Uh, okay, I'll do it here. I will flip it. Okay, so the Adam theory is telling me that the price will go up here, and then it'll be lower and starts going up and down, up and down, up and down. But this is this resistance line will be uh, tested uh, over and over again, and because our price are hitting here. I'm not going to do anything because chances are the price might go down or, you know, oh, look, it's going down as we speak. Uh, the price might go down um, um, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to wait it out. Uh, but if it does make a break out uh, of the resistance here, there's our uh, opportunity. So, um, of course, I want it if um, chances are what might happen is like this. I'll draw it out a little bit and it'll go up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm not buying here. And boop! And it makes a breakout right here. And then when it lands here, supporting the uh, testing again, um, the support line here, this is where I would get in. So at about 63, I don't know. Yeah, that's the very rough uh, price range. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if this happens. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. But uh, at the current price level, I am not getting into the game. It's just too risky. Um, if you want to, it's, you know, by all means. But uh, that's, that's not my game. Um, another possibility is that uh, it will come back down here and then test um, this support line. Um, but um, we'll have to just wait and see. Right now, you know, don't, don't, don't trade. Uh, chances are that um, it might go down very quickly. If you don't believe me, look at this. If you were to go into the five minute five minute chart, um, wow. Okay, the trend is not. It's it's not on our side. It's not helping the uh, the long side. Um, and I I cannot be as more clear as as I can. Um, be very cautious if you're planning to buy in right now. Be very cautious. All right, the last coin that we'll be looking at is uh, Uni. Uni has been um, Uni is a DeFi's you know um, bring child that everybody trades on um, Uniswap. It's a really really interesting coin um, and has a good concept. Um, and the price has been really really good, uh, just like everybody else, I guess. Um, if we were to switch to the day range. Um, and then I'll move move it up a little bit. Um, it it's it might be a bit difficult uh, to oh, I'll delete my price alert here. So there's this 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 big chunk. Can you see that this big chunk? It's um, I don't know what to do with it. Um, um, all I can say is okay. This represents a, a fairly clear uh, resistance, but what about support, right? Where's the support right here? I don't know. Um, it could be here, right? There's a, uh, um, here there's uh, a small uh, exchange of support and resistance and here too. So it might work, you never know. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter for, for our purpose. We are looking for opportunities uh, within the day range. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna switch to the four hour. Um, the four hour seems to be, Okay, um, all right. I'm I'm, I'm not going to move. Um, you know, re readjust the um, um, re resistance line, but it looks like it's doing another test right here. Uh, but because this is just one K bar within the four hour um four hour chart, um, I don't I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to do that. But uh, what I can do is I can probably potentially move up the support. Um. Um, to the closest resistance um, and see if it holds. 
um, frankly speaking, because the price level is very close to the large resistance up here, I'm not um, very, um, I'm not in the mood to trade very actively. Uh, I want to wait until the price walks out because it look, looks like that our chart, look, the hour chart is trying to uh, form a box right here. Okay, this is the box. Um, and chances are that it'll go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And it could go up like this, or it could go down like this. You never know. Um, and when that happens, um, she's gonna, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be uh, on the opposite side because you'll lose a lot of money. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll move it down here because of all the whisks are connecting here. Um, because you need something that I will watch very closely, and then you see the range. This box, uh, the, the range of this box is very, very small. It's less than that, less than a dollar. But um, if you don't have a very long-term trading plan, um, this this will just work. You know, a, a good, a correct uh, order will make you uh, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, or even more than that. So let's see. Um, and as usual, I'll just place my two alerts here. And when price um, gets close to the interesting range, um, I will I will come back. So um, that's today. Uh, actually, um, I'm gonna just gonna do one more thing because of um, the uh, the most recent breakout. I'll do an atom flip. I'll flip the chart, look at here, so it goes up here. This is uh, this might be the the true this 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 could be the uh, the real the okay bar that has the correct ad. Okay, yeah. So um, according to Adam theory, the price might go up here and then it'll go down. Um, and we're already here. So chances are um, it'll work. Uh, oh look, the price is going down as we speak. Um, let's be very cautious right now. Let's let's wait patiently here. And if this support um, does not come to fortition, for, uh, fortition. If this support doesn't work, uh, it might further down. Uh, it might go further down test here. Um, and um, you know, uh, we'll be waiting here if um, patiently. All right, so that's today. Um, it's August 7th. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, I'll be uh, seeing you tomorrow.